He's still out, but he'll live. As long as he lives long enough to tell us where Vega is, I'll be happy. Do you love nothing? I love to win. Our deal is done, Blunt. Oh my god! What's happening? No! No! It's a Pentasi! A vision! Cain has the Tacitus. According to Trotos, Vega's base is 760 clicks south. The ion storms have knocked out our satellites. He pulls his power from an old dam nearby, which is heavily protected by a large base. Taking out the dam and the power plants first will neutralize enemy air defenses. Well, our approach to Vega's fortress would be easier. Are you with me, Ava? Vegas, the large dams that power Vega's base lie in this sector. Destroying them will temporarily drain power from his base. To aid you in your objective, attack his island facility before he can bring new generators online. The dam can be destroyed by disabling the two regulator stations in this sector. GDI air support will be available if you can find a way to contact them and confirm your target. Vega's base is secreted on an island in this sector. Reaching it will be difficult, as there is only one overland access. Your best chance of success lies in the use of amphibious APCs to land on the island and penetrate Vega's defenses. Once on the island, destroy Vega's facility and command center. Welcome back, Commander. I guess that... Briefing sort of spoiled a unit that we'll see eventually. Yes, sir. Eh, whatever. It's Waiting orders. not the yes, sir. biggest of deal this time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So it seems that uh, General Commander Vega, General Vega, him, is located in a uh, location southeast of here. But, yes, sir. well, it's probably a good idea to take out the power yes, plants that power his dam. Unfortunately for us, that means that we're going to be infiltrating with a very small team. It also seems that uh, the Nod forces really don't want us getting anywhere. I have to say, though, that this level is one of those that I really enjoyed. And, well, the level will speak for itself. I think I should point out that while I do love the fact that uh, we have the map, the map screen, before you select your level, um, I love that that's back. Uh, I know we're you know, eight episodes in so far, but I have to say I really wish that the um, the map showed, like, progress. It's nice enough to say, you know, to realize, like, where the new uh, red or gold zones are based on, like, your progress when you do a quick mission, but, I mean, this video, I don't know if it'll be 34 minutes after editing. But it's 34 minutes for me. That's a long time, and especially when I kind of just like take breaks all the time between uh, recordings. Uh, I'm not gonna remember what what progress I made, quote unquote. Oh yeah, and uh, that scary vehicle's back. You probably want to like pay attention to that. It always pays to be careful about where your distors are. Sir? I should probably point out that uh, because of the difficulty level, that's really things that you don't see in like on an easy. 
And even, like, normal difficulty, you don't really see it all that often. Uh, the AI targeting, that is. Yes, sir. Sir, unit ready. Waiting order, got it. Like, maybe it was a thing for normal, but I distinctly remember on easy, it kind of just targets whatever's closest. So you can get away, I guess, uh, relatively unscathed when you're doing, you know, silly stuff like having an entire army of destroyers. You don't have to worry about how many of them are damaged so much as which one is being shot specifically. Sadly, losing a destroyer and, well, not really having too many forces to begin with makes uh, progress a little slow. Infantry reporting. Thankfully, it's not that bad. Yes, sir. Oh, and I guess it's pretty self-evident that, yeah, the colored light post is bad. I think it's pretty neat that they ever even included that to begin with. So you should expect to have these sorts of uh, interactions with the map as you progress. Now the reinforcement groups won't always be the same, of course, but you can sort of keep yourself to a general trend, so to speak. Sir, It's also important to note that uh, in just about, well, in every case, you need to destroy SAM sites. But the more important thing is that in that specific uh, occurrence, it was more specifically destroy the SAM site and the base that's attached to it, that it's a part of, whichever. Sir? Waiting order, you got it. Waiting order. No! I'm taking heavy fire. Sir? Those flamethrower tanks, well, they're the new flamethrower tanks anyways. They're, uh, they're called Devil's Tongues. Uh, you can probably figure out why. We've noticed that they're, they can burrow into the ground, which is pretty dangerous. And, well, so far, there doesn't seem to be any way for GDI to counteract that until the vehicle you know, bursts out of the ground. And at that point, if it's close to any sort of infantry, yeah, they're going to have a bad time. It should probably be noted that even against stuff like the Wolverine, those Devil Tongues are still kind of good. Oh, and yeah, that's a very, like, hidden one. I'm fairly certain the trigger is down there in the bottom, and not near the bridge. But I, I could be wrong, I forget exactly. I guess it's just one of those things I'll have to leave until the map video. Infantry reporting. Uh, speaking of videos, um, the cutscene at the start of this mission Infantry was talking about uh, Trados. It's the first, reporting. I guess, technically second time we've seen him. Sir. Uh, it's hard to really explain where and how Trados fills in on Sir. in the story. For starters, um, there's mention that he's the leader of the Forgotten, if not in the conversations between Umagon and McNeil, then in the text itself in the various documentation. Uh, quizzically, though, there is mention that <clears throat> uh, 
Trados, who has taken responsibility for the Forgotten and given them shelter. Trados was among the first to know that Kane was still alive, etc. But it also mentions that um, he's had their Forgotten, which obviously, you know, mutants, uh, are headed by a powerful and intelligent mutant. But I'll be honest, I don't quite know what powerful really means in this instance. Sir. Loud and unit ready. Unit reporting. Waiting order. Oh, and I'm pretty sure that was a second national bank that didn't give me anything. Unit ready. Unit ready. So yeah, getting back to um Trados. It just seems that uh, he has some sort of ability for premonition. Yes, sir. Certainly, being one of the forgotten doesn't really, you know, lend yourself to having a lot of credibility with certain within certain circles. Yes, sir. Oh, and, um... Yeah, this one always caught me off guard. There's no way to save that one. It's, uh... It's kind of the map makers just screwing with you. The quote-unquote real way to, to do that would be to... Uh, effectively, like, not destroy all the SAM sites. And then once you've progressed enough to safely take out those units, then you can call in, like, destroy the SAM site, call in those reinforcements. Sir? It's just kind of a dirty trick, because you sort of have to have played this mission before, and, well, I hadn't played this in a, in a little bit, anyways. Certainly long enough to have forgotten that it does that. Awaiting orders. And then it gets weird with the whole, it doesn't, Sir? you know, that transport's Sir? flying, so, uh, anyways. Orders. Maybe it's all in my head and you can never save the other one. Awaiting yes, order. sir. Moving out. Yes, sir. Awaiting orders. Sir. Unit reporting. One might be able to surmise rather easily why we're given engineers on bridges. Infantry reporting. Infantry reporting. Loud and clear. Sir. Medic. Yes, sir. Good and loud and clear. Medic. Sir. Infantry reporting. Moving out. We got it. reporting. Sadly, there's no way for us to repair the hut on the right. Awaiting order. Sir. Or bridge. Sorry. Yes, sir. Loud and clear. Infantry way. reporting. Oh. Yes, sir. Got it. Oh. Sir. Unit ready. Waiting order. Oh. Yes, sir. Unit ready. Oh. 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 Sir. Oh. Oh. Yeah, the better way to do this would be to have blown the bridge. Sadly, I just didn't have enough firepower for it. And it also doesn't help that the Nod forces are kind of strong. Yes, sir. Yeah, having tick tanks to fight on the top of a ridge is also not terribly fun. Although, granted, you can at least be kind of cheesy about it because, well, as we've seen, the terrain messes with accuracy in this game. So, theoretically, it's possible at least to, you know, get close enough to them, have them overshoot all the time, and so on. Yeah, this just kind of made it really painful. Yes, yeah. On the plus side, though, I guess I discovered that route, which 
I mean, I never used as a kid. Really how it's supposed to go, at, at least in lower difficulties, is that you'd build enough of a force so that you could get close to the tick tanks without having to worry about anything. And then you'd just destroy them that way. At worst, I guess, you'd just like run through it because they wouldn't shoot as fast. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No problem, affirmative. Orders. Yeah. Orders. Infantry reporting. Yes, sir. This is also one of those missions where, I mean, Orders. we've gotten most of the map. I'm almost out of units entirely, and it doesn't really seem like we're near the objective at all. I guess in some small way there's at least the comfort of having you know, the river that we seem to be following. Yeah, silently I was hoping I'd be able to find maybe something else. Maybe one other unit or something. Yes, sir. Unit orders received. Yeah. Orders. Sir. No! Yeah, I was really desperate to have to use that. I'm on it. I didn't want to have to because it's dangerous enough using a, a full heal. But desperate times. So ideally that's how you take out the two tick tanks on the high ground so far. But again, easier difficulty, you just have it's not so chaotic. There's also, I believe, a couple differences that the game doesn't mention in any manuals. Certainly in the manuals I'm looking through, there doesn't seem to be anything that implies it. But I'm fairly certain that you start with different things. Um, in the sense that uh, on an easier difficulty, a reinforcement group might have, say, an extra or a medic or uh, some extra destroyers versus a harder mode, which won't give you as many. Yes, sir. Awaiting orders. I don't really have a way to prove it other than uh, in reporting. stuff I will do after this video, where I'm going to obviously reporting. look it up specifically. But I yes, feel like it's the case. Sir. On my way. Sadly, while I can, or while we can see an objective here, uh, specifically the infantry reporting. What's it called? Let me see if I can find the name. Unit ready. Yes, sir. Hopefully, I didn't mouse over it while I'm looking in the guide here. Regulator station. So, I mean, that's just an observation post. We've seen it before. Um, the problem for me, though, is that, well, there's two tick tanks. And I can guarantee you there's no way I can bust through two tick tanks with two titans. There's... the damage is too far gone, or too far off, in one direction. So, well, maybe I'll be able to find other units? Hopefully, anyways. I guess while we're waiting for me to kill a radar, um, something should be said about the lore for the Forgotten. Sir? Just to sort of expand upon it for your benefit. Uh, the two entries I can find in the two official guides I have are identical, as far as I know, and basically state that 
Uh, the Forgotten are a third unpredictable group of entrants in the mounting war between GDI and Nod. I'm not sure how they're entrants, specifically. Regardless. Um, the main thing to take away is that the it notes the Forgotten are the only remaining population indigenous to most temperate zones in, of the world. That kind of puts a, you know, interesting light on basically how far uh, Tiberium has gone and just how little it seems that people have against it. Unit ready. Orders received. Keep in mind, it does, uh, again, it does say indigenous to most temperate zones. So there's kind of the uh, implication that, well, everybody else has just, you know, fled either with the help of GDI or died in less favorable circumstances, we'll say. Sir? Oh, yeah, and that's also why, like, it's a really crappy trap to have for your player. Having, you know, three tick tanks on the high ground and then, you know, two subterranean APCs just show up, it's kind of rude. Yes, sir. Unit reporting. Unit ready. Yes, sir. Another interesting point of the Forgotten is that uh, it does note that because of the fact that they've, you know, sir? managed to survive in such harsh conditions and so on, um, sir? they're formidable sir? enough, so the, the text goes, that they're able to stave off minor attacks from Nod and quote unquote resist peace overtures from GDI. It's probably a safe bet that GDI is basically just trying to like sway mutants to join their cause. Or at least evacuate, you know, the Tiberium zones. Awaiting order. Yes, sir. The real interesting part, honestly, for me, is that they can stave off minor nod attacks. Sir? It's kinda got the implication that um, the attack on Phoenix base would probably be what's considered a minor nod attack. Which isn't too big, but they still did have nod buggies, cyborgs, and infantry. So, if they can repel that sort of I guess firepower, if you want to call it that. Sir? I wonder just what else they might have in store. Yes, so far, we've seen, you know, yes, Ghost Stalker, Umagon, and Hijacker. But yes, sir? surely there can't just be them. Sir? Yes, sir. On my way. You know, defending the whole world, yes, Umagon doesn't really have teleportation powers. Sir? Orders received. That we know of, anyways. Sir, orders received. Unit ready. Sir, moving out. Sir, you got it. Sir, moving out. Orders received. On my way. Waiting us. Yeah, this is sort of the, sort of the only way I can deal with these units because I certainly do not have enough to survive. Well, just about anything. Ready. Yes, sir. Unit yes, sir. Moving out. Waiting orders, yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's a real good thing that Titans can crush stuff. Sir? Sir? No problem. Yes, sir. Orders received. Sir? Yes, sir. On my way. Unit ready. No problem. Now, I feel almost certain I should be able to hit the dam, the northern dam, from where I'm at. But for whatever reason, I can't. I don't know. There's something... I feel like there's something weird going on. Because I distinctly remember being able to hit it there before. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Maybe there's some something that changed the yeah. Titan's attack range or something. I don't know. Affirmative. Affirmative. No, no problem. No problem. No problem. Affirmative. Affirmative. No problem. Affirmative. No problem. No problem. No problem. You might be wondering just what I'll be trying to do. And, well, hopefully it becomes apparent soon enough.
I mean, let's face it. While I've doubled, doubled the number of Titans I have, I'm still nowhere near capable of taking out two Tick Tanks, as well as associated infantry and lasers. I should probably send, yeah. Annoyingly, it just two titans just can't outpower the repairing ability of you know, a hand of nod. I think at this point we're kind of seeing the limitations of the engine, uh, specifically with the yes, titans trying to shoot the dam. Things just seem a little too far in the way that the sprites interact. Uh, the explosion obviously seems to be on a different layer than the dam, so you can kind of see it sometimes. Waiting orders. Unit ready. Orders received. Yes, sir. Unit ready. Sir? I probably shouldn't have, you know, my single good Titan all alone, yes, sir. but hey, whatever. You probably knew this was coming, and, and honestly, why wouldn't I be doing this? Admittedly, it'd be nice if I didn't have to do this in the first place, but look, you can only do it so much. Oh, and remember how in Red Alert and Tiberian Dawn, if you had low power, you build slower? Yeah, that exists for this game too, just in case you were wondering. Wait, wait, wait. Sir? You ready? Sir? Awaiting orders. Affirmative. Unit reporting. Unit reporting. Unit reporting. Sadly, you don't really get anything for destroying one dam. I was really hoping there might be some sort of special effect. Especially as a kid, you know, you kind of sort of expect something to happen if a dam explodes, but, you know. Could have been worse, I guess. You got it. Waiting orders. Reinforcements have arrived. Unit reporting. Yeah, this was always fun to learn, too. Sir? Just suddenly you've taken out a Nod base and you get some reinforcements. We've already seen that the tunnels in, in the game can be pretty interesting. Unit ready. It wouldn't look like it, but it's just kind of interesting and in a way a little sneaky as to how they actually get uh, tunnels to work. Building 
building captured. In a way, you kind of you're kind of led to believe that you wouldn't be able to go into it because it's you know off. It looks like it would go off map, but. I also wasn't expecting that whatsoever. Waiting order. Doesn't really feel like units should get shot when they're traveling yes, underwater. Waiting order. Waiting yes, sir. Ah! And yeah, sadly, the reinforcements had already died there. I'm pretty sure they're linked to that Samsung. Oh, yeah. Affirmative. Affirmative. Stand Waiting orders. Waiting orders. Sir. Yes, sir. Unit reporting. Waiting orders. Structure yes, sold. Construction complete. Not deploy here. I was kind of hoping I could go further down into the Nod Tech Tree, but yes, I think we're locked for the moment. Waiting order. Yes, sir. You got it. Unit ready. Yes, sir. Loud and clear. Waiting order. Waiting orders. Moving out. Sir? Technically, I'm being kind of dumb here. I should just forget the power plants. They're not really important anymore. Training. I think at a certain point, I just, you know, started to get really crazy. Like, I don't want to lose this regardless of, you know, what's currently going on, so... Waiting orders. Oh. Infantry reporting. Loud and clear. Unit reporting. Yes, sir. Ah! Probably doesn't help that I ran out of credits, too. Waiting if I at least had, like, a somewhat quick uh, way to get resources. Waiting order. Obviously, other than building another harvester and so on. You know, and get, like, a flow of tick tanks out or something. That would have been nice. Moving out. Waiting order. Oh, and um, keep in mind how much time there is left, where my units are, and what exactly I'm about to blow up. Because I noticed there's a bug. Infantry reporting. Or a, a glitch. I don't know. There's Basically, I did something that kind of breaks... I don't want to say this level, but it breaks the next one in a interesting way. Although maybe breaking is a little too harsh. Regardless, it makes it it messes with the next video. Yes, sir. 